Yo, what's um, up? It's your boy King Brand here, bringing you a commentary today. The gameplay you see in the background is me and a wager. I think it's like a 250. Uh, actually, I am post for once. It's uh, sorry for bringing in my mic. I'm gonna pull it away a little bit. Just 250. We play a pretty good team. I actually knew some of these players. You get to watch it. See how I do. I do pretty nice. Not gonna say the score, but uh, my KD was pretty dope. So the commentary today you're gonna be watching is a uh, or listening to my bad is basically how I got into competitive gaming and just my gaming background slash just normal There's gaming. Job, so my first ever round. gaming console handheld device or anything was actually when I was like six or seven. My grandparents had a Game Boy Advance. I think I was actually probably five, six. My parents had my grandparents had a Game Boy Advance. I used to play Mario on there every now and then but I didn't really try or anything I wasn't very good I used to play Frogger on there but I was just messing around like obviously I was six five over what I was it wasn't very good I actually had no idea what I was doing and then my uh, first console I was seven years old and it wasn't I think it was my birthday and the one thing I really wanted was a PS2 I never had one no had a gaming console so I was like alright you know what I'm really ready to have one a gaming console because I know a lot of my friends have PS2s and they say it's awesome so you know what I'm gonna get a PS2 I get a PS2 I pick out three games I know one was FIFA I think one was like a little robot random game where I don't know I think you just drove around like a robot and just I think it was actually the game robots now I think about it, like based on the movie I don't remember what it was but it was weird I don't even remember the third one at all I think it was like MLB something like 04 some baseball game I wasn't very good. I've never been good at baseball games or sports games. The only sports game I'm used to is like, I guess, NBA. Well, I'm not even that good at NBA. I'm really not that good at sports games for some reason. Um, which is weird because I'm like pretty good at basketball. And so from there, I used to play a lot of PS2. I think I had over 60 games, and I played a lot of them. I played all the Naruto's, all the Dragon Ball Z, beat them all. During a hurricane that hit, I went to my aunt's, and I would just play for hours. I'd play Dragon Ball Z, and during the hurricane, all thing, one thing, whenever we were evacuated, the one thing I wanted most, whenever I did get my PS2 back, was Dragon Ball Z, because that game I put hours upon hours into, and I would always be playing Dragon Ball Z, just chilling in my living room. Actually, I think it was my room. I'll just go ham. I think I used to play like, um. Hank and Clatchet or something like that. I don't know. I think the game's still around today. It's not that popular though. I didn't really take anything too too serious, just messing around. And I used to always ask for games for Christmas. I used to, I remember my like happiest whenever I got what was it, Crash Bandicoot. I played that game for a little bit. I was super pumped, and it was actually really bad. And I didn't like it. it. Made me a ghost. I was super pumped. I didn't like it at all. But you know what? There's other games out there, and I remember. We had, during, after the hurricane, I lived in this, I kind of didn't really live in the trailer, but we had a FEMA trailer, and we had a normal trailer, and we lived in the FEMA trailer, but the normal trailer, like a travel trailer, I had my PS2 set up in, and so I'd wake up in the morning, on a Sunday, Saturday, I would head straight in there for like two or three hours, and I'd either just play a ton of Lego Batman, I was the best Lego Batman player ever. I don't even think I beat the game, but I was super close. I put hours in that game. I remember this one level, it still haunts me today. I put so much time and effort into, and to this day I have not beat it, which is really, really frustrating. But, uh, I would play that, and I'd play MLB, but I wouldn't actually try. I would put on hacks, and I, would, I had this hack, or not hacks, but it was like a little cheat code, and I would bunt, and it would be a home run. Every time I bunted, I hit a home run. It was honestly like one of the coolest things. And then I had like Mega Swing, where if I swung, it would just annihilate the ball, and I'd score like 70 runs a game. Nothing ever competitive or nothing ever serious. I always used to mess around. And be like, my dad be like, "You would be a gamer when you get older," and I'm like, "No, no. you guys are nerds." It's crazy to think about that now, because now I'm like, spend hours and I'm making money and I'm really good at Call of Duty now, which is insane. And so then, I was about 10 years old, and, and I got my PS3. Here, wait one second. Uh, I got my PS3. But yeah, so, I got the PS3. Uh, I think we bought it at GameStop. 
and I'll do a part two to this where basically I go more in depth on everything about the PS3 and you know what games I played at first and how serious I took them and if I was actually any good at all or any of the games I played which at first I was awful at every video game but uh yeah this has been your boy King Brandon make sure to follow me on Twitter add me on Xbox if you want to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video comment down below if you have any suggestions peace out guys Excellent job, Ghosts. Get ready for the next round.